Welcome back to Brightside. Hey, all this week on Brightside, we're bringing you important information about the weather threats that we face here in Tampa Bay. Now, if you've lived here for any length of time, or if you just visit, visit here a lot, you know that water spouts, yeah, they come with the territory, don't they? Uh, tornadic water spouts, they're simply tornadoes that form over water. Uh, yesterday on Bryce, I actually showed you the science behind how tornadoes form, and you can see that right now on 10tampabay.com. But fair weather water spouts, they're typically relatively weak rotating columns of air, not necessarily associated with severe weather. Now, while they are usually a less dangerous phenomenon, they can still cause damage and would be classified as a tornado if it were to move ashore. Tampa Bay has some of the highest concentrations of water spouts in the entire country. So this is a, a pretty cool deep dive into water spouts and what makes our area so unique. Here's a map showing you the concentration of water spouts here along our coast. And you see down there through southern Pinellas County, down towards uh, Fort DeSoto, and then up into the bay, up towards McDill. That's the largest concentration of these water spouts that we've seen. Here's why they form. In the summertime, we know the sea breeze, right? That pushes inland. At night, the opposite occurs where a land breeze pushes just offshore. Now, when the setup is just right to give us light southwesterly winds, it creates this convergence right along that land breeze. And that convergence creates relatively weak rotation right along that boundary, okay? So you've got this weak rotation just chilling there off the coast, usually right around 8, 9 o'clock in the morning, right when the temperatures begin to warm, those thunderstorms and those showers begin to redevelop, right? So it takes that little weak rotation and it starts to create that rotating column of air. Now, if you get the, that convergence that's just perfect and that rising motion in the atmosphere with those developing showers and thunderstorms, that's when you could get one of those relatively weak fair weather water spouts. And then if that Sea breeze starts to pick up again. We could see those those water spouts begin to move ashore and move up into the bay, which Jabari, that's, yes. that's exactly what, what you saw one time, which is crazy. Uh, <laughs> hey, guys, tomorrow, actually, we continue Weather Watch Week right here on Brightside with a look at two significant threats that we deal with every single year and the difference between the two, tornadoes versus hurricanes. We'll have that for you tomorrow on Brightside.